Hello everyone! It's spring, it's wonderful outside. Sun is shining, birds are singing, and Easter is coming very soon. And I have for you just a cake for Easter. It's called Mimosa cake. It looks really nice and you will love it. It looks like a little bit of sunshine came into your kitchen. And it looks like a mimosa. So, um, and this recipe is from my friend. She lives in Italy and it's Italian cake. But before, I just want to say a few words. I was watching my videos and I noticed that I never said my name. So, let me introduce myself. My name is Nina. I'm Russian and I live in Toronto. And I love to bake and I love to work with chocolate, hence the name Bonbonina, because I love to make all kinds of sweets and chocolate bonbons. Alright, so welcome to my channel and let's make this amazing mimosa cake. So we start with the melted butter. I I'm gonna to put some aromas in the, my butter and this is lemon oil. I always buy uh, natural, uh, for flavoring, natural oils. I never buy essences. It's, uh, it's chemical, it's not natural. So I've got the oil, lemon oil here and I put a few drops into my butter and it already smells like lemon and a little bit of my favorite vanilla. I mix it really well. It already smells amazing. And I put this aside. Now I have an eggs here and egg yolks. So what I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna whip it for 5-10 uh, minutes to the ribbon stage. What's the ribbon stage? It's when you lift your whisks from your whipped eggs and it, uh, your whisks, uh, they leave the trays and it's not going away immediately. That means it's, you reach the ribbon stage. Right. So basically, first of all, my eggs are tripled in volume, which is great. And it took me five, six minutes for, uh, I'm doing half of the ingredients. So it took me six minutes to whip the eggs and I reached the ribbon stage. So see, I basically, I can write on this and it's not disappears. It stays for a few seconds. That's what I need. All right. Our eggs are done and now I'm sifting my flour in there. Corn flour. And now very gently I'm gonna fold my flour and corn flour into my eggs. I folded my flour and corn flour into my eggs and now it's time for my aromatic butter. So first I add a little bit of my mixture into the butter and mix it in there. That way it will be easier to mix the butter into our dough. Also in the original recipe uh, the cake looks really like yellow and bright, so I decided to add a little bit of my gel color. So just a drop of yellow and a tiny drop of orange. The dough is ready and now I'm gonna bake it in, a, in my prepared ring form. I sprayed oil on my form and I dusted it with the flour. And now I'm gonna move my dough into this form. And we're gonna bake it for about 25-30 minutes. So we'll continue to make our mimosa cake. While our sponge cake is baking, I'm gonna make a beautiful, very delicious caramelized pineapple. So I'm making simple syrup. I'm gonna melt butter right now. 
So my butter is melted and now I'm adding there my pineapples and I'm going to caramelize them. When your pineapple is getting softer, we're adding sugar. And continue caramelizing. My beautiful caramelized pineapples are ready. So is my simple syrup. And uh, now I have this kirsch. In the recipe, it says you can use maraschino liquor. I don't have maraschino liquor, but I think kirsch will work as well. So I'm adding my kirsch to the simple syrup and to pineapples to make it even better. Now I'm gonna put them back on heat and evaporate alcohol. Pineapples are all ready. Beautiful, glossy, smell amazing. You can eat it like, like that right now, but we're gonna save them for the cake. Continue to make our beautiful mimosa cake. So, uh, next step is going to be pastry cream. So here I've got milk and cream in my pot and I have to heat it up. While my milk and cream heating, I've got my egg yolks, sugar, and I'm going to mix it together very well. Adding vanilla and cornstarch. hot and now slowly I'm adding it to my eggs. Now this mixture is going back to the pot and I'm continue cooking it, constantly mixing until the pastry cream thickens. Pastry cream is done, ready and it's I covered it with the plastic wrap so it touches the cream and now it should cool down to the room temperature and then we'll continue to make our beautiful mimosa cake. Our cake is baked, everything is cooled down and now we're going to put our cake together. So while everything was cooling down I whipped some whipped cream. So what I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna cut my cake. So first I'm gonna cut it in a few layers. Now I cut my layers, I'm gonna cut my layers into these thin stripes. So I've got this bowl and because I'm making half of the recipe, my cake is not going to be big. So you're going to be needing bigger bowl. So for my cake, this size is fine. So I've got my stripes and I'm going to put just on the bottom and cover the bottom of my bowl with my cake. And now our simple syrup with the liquor helps our cake to make more moist and tasty. For cake we need cream, so we're gonna make cream chantilly. We already made pastry cream and I whipped my cream. So here I have very very hot cream and here I've got here soaked and bloomed gelatin and I'm gonna dissolve it in this very hot cream. Now I'm gonna combine our pastry cream and the cream, whipped cream. I'm adding there my cream with gelatin. It is nice. Now I'm gonna add a little bit of my cream chantilly and now I'm going to add there our beautiful caramelized pineapple. 
I am continue with my cake. I am continue layering my cake. Just like that. And now I am filling it with the rest our, of our cream chantilly. And more our yummy, yummy, yummy caramelized pineapples. I can't wait to taste this cake. And I'm finishing my cake by covering with my sponge. All right, and I'm done. See how it looks. And now I'm gonna cover it with my plastic wrap. And it goes to the fridge. And it's gonna stay there overnight. And tomorrow we're gonna decorate it and we're gonna try it. So, so I'm back with my mimosa cake. Spent the night in the fridge and now I'm going to turn it around and decorate. I forgot to mention yesterday, you need to leave a little bit of Chantilly cream for decoration. So, there is my Chantilly. And now I'm going to spread it around my cake. I spread my chantilly on my cake and now I had also some leftovers on my, of my cake yesterday so I cut them in a little small cubes I'm gonna to make it to look like a mimosa my mimosa cake is done and it looks so bright and beautiful and it looks like spring because you know mimosa flower it's a spring flower right so I think it will be great if you make it for Easter honestly and it tastes amazing I promise you all right let's cut and see how it looks inside This is our mimosa cake. Isn't it beautiful? See inside and caramelized pineapples. So good. So amazing. Okay, I'm done. I can't wait to have my cup of coffee. This is amazing cake. I love the color, honestly. It's so bright and beautiful. And I like the I love the idea and I'm thankful to my friend for this recipe so please give your thumbs up subscribe find the recipe below this video in the box i also have instagram and facebook check it out and follow me leave a comment if you have another interesting recipe you want me to make and i'll see you in the next video